Welcome back, Brony Nerds and Gamers, to the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Universe. Speak, traveler. Please have a look around. I'm going to go, actually. What time is it uh, in this universe? It's 3 a.m. Goodness, I don't want to... I don't want to go around that early. Jeez. So we spent the whole last episode, basically, looking at just the temple. But we also learned about... You know, spell crafting, which, again, let me reiterate, you know, if you want to be a spell crafter, spell crafting is way better than enchanting. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about how maybe my choice of skills is not uh, the best. I mean, there's no bad, bad way to do it. As soon as I find, like, a spear... A spear trainer, though, uh, I will take some time. Uh, I will take some time. Uh, you know what? I believe this is one of them. Uh, Drolosa uh, Atherin Popper. Ask him about Dagathor. Dagathor is the evil immortal enemy of Tribunal Temple Cult. Uh... No, maybe not this guy. Uh, around the world. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. It's this guy. Okay, so you notice how this guy, he has nothing to say. Uh, later on in the game, like, several people like this will become hostile. And I, I won't exactly spoil why that is, but it's, like, something to keep in mind when it happens. Uh... Has Serende's house? Who is... Who are you? Oh, you do not have good fortune to be a member of Drumvika Salamica's services. Oh, Halal Council member. So, uh, you can join... I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Oh, okay. Well, uh, just like, um... Oh, Joel Thrathen's house. Uh, just like the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, which we kind of glossed over and didn't really explore. Uh, but just like those Fighters Guild and, how, uh, and and whatnot, you can join the one of the houses, either House Lau, House Redorant, or House Telvani. And not only is that part of the main quest, but you can just join them on your own fruition. Technically speaking, I don't think you have to join any of them. But it usually helps you to join at least one. Uh, so that's the Southwark Corner Club. This is just the residential district over here. There's nothing really to show off. Um, but I think what we'll do, since we spent a lot enough, we spent a, enough time already just dicking around, that we might as well uh, go ahead and find Chaos Cassades. Now I know where Chaos Cassades is. Uh, if I go directions. Uh, to Chaos Cassades. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, his residence is not known, but ask the Corner Club South Wall. So, I know where his residence is, and we could just go right to him, but instead... Your luck. You're on your honor. I am going to barter with this person and see what they have. They've got... Throwing knives, torches. I already have torches, though. So that's not important. We're just going to cancel... Uh, what we are looking for is Chaos Cassades. That old trick or truth, I'm not sure where he's living now, but, but Cola Closius must be around here somewhere. Uh, so I believe he is right up here. There he is. So we ask, we barred a little with him as well, and he's got nice, uh, ales for whatever we need. Sajama. Uh, so John is really good if you're not using any magic. I remember I've already said that before, I think. Uh, but we're gonna ask him about Chaos Cassades. Old Chaos rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right upstairs, left to the top stairs, blah blah blah. No big deal. He's just right up here. Take a left, and his house is all the way at the end. After what is probably 12 episodes, we're finally going to see Chaos Cassades. 
And here he is. What? Yes, I'm Kesk Says, but what do you mean you were told to report Kesk Says? So you say your name is Dromviticus Salamicus, and you've been told to report to me deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it? Yes. Yes, very interesting. So it says here the Emperor wants me to mentor you, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you sure? Are you ready to trust me and follow my orders? Well, what are your orders? Uh, mm, yes, I guess. Good, welcome to the service, novice Jumvidicus Alamis. You're now a member of the Imperial Blades. We're the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the provinces. We watch the Emperor's enemies, we look for opportunities, we make reports, and when the Emperor commands, we obey. I'm the Imperial Spy Master for Morrowind, and since I'm the ranking Blades agent in Morrowind, you report to me. Follow my orders, obey our rules, and you'll do fine. You can use my bed if you need to rest. But leave my personal stuff alone, unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your mana skills with our Blades Trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades Trainers. So this is a lot to digest. But first, we'll talk about orders. Well, one look at you, and anyone can see you're an experienced adventurer. That can be your cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurers are thick as fleas on a guar. You'll want to keep active in that line so just to avoid unwanted attention so i have orders for you whenever you're ready so basically if you came here when you were level one uh he would basically tell you you're way too green around the ears you need to do some stuff basically i think you have to wait until you're level two before he'll actually give you orders uh rules uh the rules are much like any other guild uh, which is don't attack anyone from the blade simple rules follow them or you're expelled once you're expelled, you're out forever. This is important because if you attack a Blades member and you're expelled from the uh, from the Blades, you're effectively locked out of the main quest. Not to say that you still can't beat the game or still continue to play, but that's a huge swath of storyline you'd rather not miss out on. Uh, services. We have our own Blades trainers, of course, and there are many public services available in Balmora. Members get better prices from guild services. The Balmora Fighters Guild and Blade... Uh, Balmora Mages Guild across the river. You'll find contacts for the Balmora Thieves Guild in the South Wall. And there's an Imperial Cult Shrine in the Moonmon Leaving Fort. Let's talk about the Blades Trainers. These Blades agents offer trading. Not free, of course, but chief for a fellow agent. Look for Rathleen, uh, Termalian, Nine Toes here in Balmora, in Caldera. See Serain, Leorion, in Aldrun. See Gildan. So far, Horsemouth lives in a hut. Oh, in Alrune, see Gildan. So far, Horsemouth lives in a hut. Oh, this is And the Lone Scout can be found in Sedani. So it gives you the uh, uh, locations for every one of them. Doesn't tell you what they train in you train you in though, which is unfortunate. He, uh, Chaos Cassades. Treats you unhonored speechcraft in hand to hand, which is not really anything I'm important. Uh, I interested. Uh, Warrior Rithleen lives two houses south upstairs. So what we can do first thing first is we can look for this guy Rithleen. Uh, I think he's right up here. Yes. Nice to see you, friend. Hello, Rithleen. I heard you offer services. I am Rithleen, warrior and journeyman of the blades. Uh, long blade, block, and medium armor. Not exactly that great. But, if I remember correctly, uh, if you go to visit any of the blades members, they will have a training book usually on their bed or somewhere nearby. Uh, gives you a free level. Uh, don't care about any of those. I could train up in medium armor, but I'd rather not waste money, waste money on that because I will have plenty of time to uh, uh, I'll have plenty of time to get money. And I believe now that I have uh, yes. So now I can have a list of blades trainers whenever I want. Rathleen, Timberly, Nine Toes. You know, Timberly lives two houses south downstairs. So he lives downstairs. Right here? Indeed. So there's two blades trainers right here. And, oh, he actually has more stuff. He has stuff to sell. So 
I believe that because he's a blade strainer, yeah, he already has a higher disposition. And he's got some spells. Holy crap, you can buy some crazy ass barriers. Burden uh, is uh, this this spell burden is the worst. It, it does nothing. Uh, most enemies, uh, most enemies, most you know people that you'll face NPCs are carrying next to nothing, and so giving them burden does nothing. So I don't know why it's a spell. That's Probably only the only spell in this game that will effectively do no good unless of course you can somehow get the level of burden to like the hundreds otherwise it's never going to do anything and the fact that two of them actually do the same heavy burden great burden of sin do actually the same thing interesting feather can be kind of nice uh, jump is really good. So we're going to go out by Tinner's Hop Toad. Because that's a really good spell to have. Just in general. Uh, Sotha's Mirror. Uh, don't need. Vivix Feast. Spell Absorption. Don't need. Uh, I really wish spell... I really wish there was a Mana Absorption spell. But there really isn't. Uh, Dispel 100% for one second on self. I don't... I don't have Mysticism. So that's not really important. And they do training, mysticism, restoration. Uh, so I could get some. I could get some straight up mysticism training, if I really, really need to. And this uh, greetings to you. Uh, this person do, does not. Oh, I thought most of them had. Well, okay. Maybe I'm also just talking out of my asshole. Uh, and so like. Again, if I take, I can't steal anything from him, uh, because that will be an automatic, uh, uh, an automatic dismissal. Uh, I believe, I believe, if you, um, uh, nine toes, to get to 109 toes, leave my door face and go right down the steps, turn left and head south. Look for a door on the left. So there's one more. If you if you commit a transgression against a uh, a guild member in any guild, uh, you I believe you can get back in the guild most of the time by um, by paying a fee. Once you pay the fee, then you're fine. Got to dance in fire for athletics. That's very good. What does that put me up in my levels then? I'm at one. Uh, and he does some training. Athletics, illusion, and sneak. So that's cool. He, he actually's got a couple spell. He's actually got a couple things that I can actually use. Uh, and that's just an idea about trainers. If I find a spear trainer, I'm going to sink some money but i don't have that much more money look at that i only got 1300 considering where i started that's important to note uh let's go ahead and uh since we just started let's go ahead and go to chaos Cassades and we're going to get our first orders uh he's got oh the war of the first council uh, the count by the Imperial Scholar Agrippa Fundulus is based on various Imperial and Dunmer sources. Run by Western and his father. The War of the First Council was the first age of religious, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the second house is less numerous, but politically and magically more advanced. And aided by Norden Orc clans, drawn by promise of land and booty, initially campaigned with great success. Uh, after brief siege, treason... Permitted Nerevar and his troops to enter the stronghold where the secular leaders were slain and Nerevar mortally wounded. General Slaughter followed and houses Dwenmar and Dagoth were exterminated. So there were two other houses uh, besides the main houses that are, exist today. Uh, can I use your bed? It doesn't say... Guilds and factions shows about the guilds, different factions. Here it explains the difference between the Morag Tong and the Kamonatong. 
The Martongs Guild of Executionist Sanctions, completely legal and guided by a strict code of contact into an ancient Dunmer society steeped in tradition. But I know and respect a few Westerners belong to Mortong. They're nothing like the Dark Brotherhood. I have no idea on how to join them. There is a way to join the Mortong in this game. It is uh it's much like joining the Dark Brotherhood, but you can't join the Dark Brotherhood in this game. I am pretty sure. Uh, how do you know when you're given a task too tough for you? You have to decide. If it seems too tough, it probably is. Guild stewards and faction leaders don't really know how much you can handle, and some don't care. You have to look out for yourself, but as long as you haven't been given a deadline for completion, it's usually smart to wait and tackle those tough jobs after you're stronger and better equipped. So most of the time, most of the time you won't be given a quest that has a deadline. If it does have a deadline, it's really not going to be that hard. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get our orders. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasfat Antibolus at the Bamora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You'll have to do him a favor first, probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from, from Antibolus and report back to me. By the way, Hasfat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. I have a few history books here. Help yourself. You're welcome to. No point in being a uh, part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. So... Marwin History, uh, Jeanette sits, little book is good place to start, I have a copy here, take it, you might look for old Marwin, the Imperial Province, uh, by Amramanui of Sunholm, and he gives you a book, and that book is right here. Led by legendary prophet Villoth, the ancestors of Dunmer exiles from Altmer cultures in present day Somerset Isle came to the region of uh, Marwin, so Dunmer are... Exiles, uh, exiled individuals from the Altmer. So once the Dunmer and the Altmer once used to live together in Somerset Isle, the ancient ancestors worshipper of the tribes was in time superseded by the Malanthid Tribunal Temple. The theocracy in the Dunmer grew into a great uh, nation called Rosdain. Rosdain was the last of the provinces to submit to Tiber Septim like Black Marsh. It never successfully invaded and was peacefully incorporated by treaty into the Empire as the province of Marwan. Almost four centuries after the coming of the Imperial Legion, Marwan is still occupied by Imperial Legions with a figurehead Imperial King, though the Empire has reserved most functions of the traditional local government to the ruling council of the five great houses. So unlike um, unlike Skyrim, basically uh, all of Marwan was allowed to just continue to do their own thing. Uh, you know, they can continue to worship whatever they want, and that's kind of because... As we learned in Skyrim, uh, the Empire is pretty much pressured by the Elves on a constant basis to not interfere with their uh, worships, worshipping. Uh, and that sort of, and that sort, excuse me, and that sort of extends to the, um, the Dunmer as well. So unlike unlike the Nords and their worship of of Talos, that's the Guild of Mage. Excuse me. So we're looking for Hasfat. We're looking for Hasfat here in the uh, in the fighter skill. In the fighter skill, was that it? Yeah. Oh, is there an extra NDPC here? There is. Ooh, little extra training on spear. Don't mind if I do. So, that's how you train. You go here, you go to training, and boom, spear. Uh, each training of spear, each each uh, action of training uh, extends the time by an hour. So now we are down to only a thousand gold, which is not very much. Oh, he'll even teach me some stuff. I think... I don't know why. Uh, Morrowind History. I won't bore you blathering about history. That's what Chaos is for. But if you're really interested in try on Morrowind, the Imperial Province. Uh, I have an extra copy. Can you you can have what an adventurer like you really needs. A sense of current events. Who hates who? Current events. The Great Houses hate each other. Theft, murder, assassination, secret raids, standard stuff. The Temple's trying to kill off a rebellious faction called the Dissident Priests. 
Ashland or nomads raid each other, attack traders and pilgrims. A secret cult is killing off imperial citizens. All bad enough. The real problem, though, is the blight. Monsters and diseases the natives say it comes from Red Mountain. It's been a local problem for years, but lately it's gotten badly out of control. That just gives you a very... Uh, uh, a very quick summary of everything that's going on. Basically, everything is trying to kill each other, including nature. Damn, nature, you're scary. Uh, ask him about Marlon here. Uh, when we understand this events that occur to us, the events from history, ask him about the Nair of Rain. You have a favor to do first, and we can talk to Nair of Rain. Six House, I gotta do a favor for him. All right, so let's see what he wants us to do. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Argthand. God. Damn, this game had some weird names. I need to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design, some symbols on one side. It's called Dwemer Puzzle Box. Bring me back to the Dwemer Puzzle Box, and I'll tell you what you want to know. So, we get our first mission for our very first uh, uh, dungeon. Official dungeon. This is basically, uh, if you were to think about it in Skyrim's term, this is the same as going to the dungeon... Uh, uh, oh, did I not ask him about it? No, I didn't. But that's fine. I don't need to. I know where it is. Uh, looking on the map. It's... It's somewhere over here. I, I know I know where to find it. It's it's actually incredibly easy to find. You just walk out this door. Um, so yeah, everyone's trying to kill each other. And we gotta find out about the Nerverine, which is a super, super big plot point about the game. Is there a fucking There is a They put a They put a tree? The mod put a tree right in the mi Wow. That was an oversight. All right. One point against the mod, I guess. Um, that's un that is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going. Go ahead and wait. Uh, put that away. Tinner's Hop Toad. Okay, so Tinner's Hop Toad, 20 points of jump. You can see how good that uh, how good that works. Now imagine if you had a spell that gave you like a hundred jump, and suddenly you start to see how in later parts of this game, uh, getting around is a joke. Uh, I believe we gotta go up this way. Also, this is twofold, to be, to be honest, right? Because I'm, I, I'm, I'm upping my, uh, uh, let's go ahead and rest until healed. Thank you. And then we're going to continue to rest. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. The reason why I want to rest until I'm healed and I'm going to save because uh, uh, I have no idea how this will go. Uh, and that's because the guy on this bridge that you can see in the distance there, he is absolutely going to try to kill us. And so, I want to get my fireball ready. Uh-oh, there's also a... There's also several birds. You can sneak past him if you have an invisibility spell. So this is one of those things where 
You don't necessarily have to fight him, but we're going to because we're not spec that way. You wait till you get a little closer. Uh, he is doing some weirdness. Uh, switch to Firebite. And he, oh, he sucks. Ow, that actually, that actually hurt. I need, what do I need? I need, uh. Oh, here we go. Boom! Destruction got to 39. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything I can really use. And everything else just kind of sucks. So, I'm just going to leave him. Uh, let's go ahead and rest until we're healed. Cool. I mean, that was a... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Boom. Uh, rest for an hour. Wait for light. You definitely, you'd want to take advantage of daylight, just in general. Don't, don't try running around when it's dark. Uh, here we go, Frost Salts. Frost Salts is a very good item to pick up if you want some money. Scrap Metal sucks. Uh, you use Scrap Metal, uh... I bel I think you use Scrap Metal in this game. It's, it doesn't take as, it doesn't use... As big of a, it doesn't have as big of a use as it does in Skyrim. I love the fact that they do something with scrap metal in Skyrim. In um, in Morrowind, you do use it, but it's not for like making armor because there is no armor crafting. Uh, but this is Angthadonga. This is it. Uh, you get there and there's no door, and you're like, oh fuck, what do I do? Well. Ah, the first thing you do... First... God... Can I... Can I please? There you go. First thing you do is kill that guy. Uh, it's a cliff racer. You get some racer plumes. Boom. Uh, so that's the first thing you do. The second thing you do is find the appropriate handle to open the door. And then run in and, uh, and make your way in. So here we are. Uh, Angth... Angthond... I guess. And we are at the end of the episode for today. So please remember to leave a like or comment below if you enjoyed the video. And as always, subscribe for more. Until next time, I can't rest. Your enemies are nearby. Good night.